Okay, I just upgraded to Windows 10 and my screen is blinking like crazy. And I'm gonna go through the fix on how to get rid of that. So this is what I saw after I restarted after my Windows 10 update. Notice the screen is blinking and just, it never stops. Now, if you might have noticed, I had there was a Wind Apple services update thing up. So that is the issue, it's Apple services. So what I'm gonna do is first, you need to try to disable services in Windows 10. If that doesn't work, try to boot into safe mode and disable them. And as a last resort, if none of, the, none of those work, go back to Windows 8 and disable them there. So you can see my first try here is just to do this in Windows 10, it's a no-go. I cannot type anything in, I can't, I can't do anything, it's just not happening. So I restart, and I'm not, now I'm gonna do, try the second option, and that's to get into safe mode. To do safe mode, once you restart, hold the shift key while it's rebooting, and that will give you some options, and one of those options is safe mode. Now I did have a little trouble this uh, getting into safe mode, so I actually made sure that I got to the screen where you can see uh, that I did a restart. This rebooting seemed to have trouble holding the uh, shift key. But once I selected restart and held the shift key, I got myself into this menu here. And now when you get here, you can see there's all these different things, startup settings, and you can see enable safe mode is there. And once you click restart, this will give you, get you into safe mode. Now once I'm into safe mode, you can see, um, I'm gonna go down to search box and type msconfig. And if you can access that, then you can go through and disable the services. I was not able to do that. Um, so I'm out of luck and I'm going back to Windows 8. Now here I, I go back into this advanced options holding the shift key and, and you can see, I'm gonna go down to the bottom where it says see more recovery options. And that gives me this go back to previous build. Well, here I am back in Windows 8. Type in search and type in msconfig. Now in msconfig, I'm gonna go to the services tab and I'm gonna disable all the Apple services. And you can tell by sorting by the manufacturer, okay? And then I'm going to click the startup tab I'll click Open Task Manager, and from there I'm gonna sort by publisher and disable all of the Apple uh, services there that uh, are enabled on startup. So now this ensures nothing will uh, be running when I start back up. So you can just close this and apply and okay there. And now I have to go all the uh, restarted, and then from there I'll go all the way through the Windows 10 upgrade again. But this time you'll see now here I'm in Windows 10. Good news, it worked. So now the bad news is that uh, iTunes is totally hosed. So I have another video on how to get around that. I'm not too sure if it was just because when I rebooted the initial upgrade, it was trying to download and do an update or something. Uh, I'm not sure, but there uh, is a way to get iTunes back on here. And um, But no blinking screen, and I hope this helps. Good luck.